Hey everyone, welcome to Intuitive Gems. I had another request to do a love reading for the sign of Sagittarius for the week of January 14th, 2019. So I've been shuffling the cards and focusing on really tapping into that Sagittarius energy and I want to start off by saying that this is a general reading so if you have Sagittarius in your Sun Moon or rising sign this may or may not resonate or if the person that you have a question about is a Sagittarius um, remember to think that uh, these cards could apply to the person and not necessarily you. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's see what the current circumstances are for Sagittarius in the area of love for this coming week. And first card on the bottom is the Sun card. So this is really good. Looks like things are going to be uh, very, very positive this week, but let's see what else the cards will say. <clears throat> All right, current situation. We do have a very uh, fiery woman or a fiery... Um, I want to say someone who is very assertive. We have a, a assertive woman who is very determined and very clear on what she wants and what her focus is going to be. She's also very, very smart when it comes to money, finances, business. She makes really good decisions as it relates to finances. And she can also be someone who... Um, who a lot of people say is overly responsible. Next, we have the Two of Swords. Someone is caught between two choices. <clears throat> Excuse me, two choices. They're not necessarily bad choices, but they may not necessarily be the best choices either. Then uh, currently we're dealing with the Ace of Rods, which is actually a good thing because this tells me that it could be a um, some type of new movement as it relates to work and career. Either some type of um, maybe a new work relationship, maybe you meet someone through work and um, the relationship takes a new and interesting turn and it could be with this woman and I'm guessing that that's what these three cards are telling me is that there's a very determined assertive woman someone's making a choice and it could be some type of a work relationship something in regards to um, things going in a new direction in love as it relates to your job All right, let's see how things uh, got into this position. All right, we've got the Ace of Swords here. Now, swords always there's always a lot of uh, tension when it comes to swords. And it's not always bad tension, but it's something where there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of weight. You know, there, it, it's like a real heavy, heavy thing. It's not something to be taken lightheartedly. So whatever type of romantic involvement you had going on, it started off great, but it ended up being a little bit more deeper than what you had expected it to be. 
we've got this Knight of Pentacles. Again, this is telling me that there is a, a male or a masculine energy as it relates to work, job, business. And then we've got the Four of Swords. And this tells me that there's some type of um, um, resting, maybe a time of pulling back and seeing what's been going on. So because of this masculine energy, someone has felt the need to pull back. And someone has pulled back so much that, that the other party thinks that they've actually lost interest. And I think that's kind of where we got the um, the choices and the decision and maybe why this woman is so determined because somebody has somebody has been giving um, I don't want to say mixed signals, but they've kind of just ignored the situation to a point where the person is like, okay, well then I'm just going to pull back. 110% because I don't know if if it's worth it for me to keep pursuing pursuing this. Let's see how things are going to turn out. Or let's see if we can figure out the direction things are going to go. Interesting. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> the first card we got is the world card. Things are going to come full circle. I'm also getting a hit that uh, you two are going to run into each other. Even if you are, quote, in a established relationship, Things are going to come full circle and then you're going to find out that you both are actually in the same place and want the same things. If you're single, you're going to actually have a chance run in with this person. Um, or you're going to run into someone who knows the other person and then they're going to inquire about you. So I see this as some type of a full circle, whether you're single or involved, but um, you're either going to find out that you're both you both want the same thing in the relationship, or if you're single, you're going to run into that person either directly or indirectly. Now, there's going to be a conversation also where one person is going to, and the words that come to mind are fight dirty, and they're going to necessarily, they're, they're going to win the argument but it's going to be at the expense of the other person's emotions. This card seems to come up a lot when it concerns interactions. So just be careful with what you say because you may be right, you may be um you may be, you know, fighting for yourself and 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 standing up for yourself, but do it in a way to where the other person doesn't feel attacked and insulted. final card is this high priestess card now this card is all about intuition um insight uh gut instincts that type of thing and i have a feeling that some of you are actually not tapping into your intuition and you're trying to make all of your decisions based on logic which works to some degree but i also know that when you get a gut feeling about something it's not a smart idea to ignore it. And some of you have been ignoring it. You've been staying in a situation where, I wouldn't say you're unhappy, but you just feel like something's not right and something is not, um, something is not as it should be. Not that the other person is lying or hiding something, but maybe something is just off. Okay, let me pull one last card. to find that overall energy. And this card just stuck out of the stuck out of the deck. This is the 3 of swords. And this tells me that some pain unfortunately could be on the way, 
but at least now you kind of have a heads up about it and you can either prepare for it or you can do whatever you can to um, make sure it's not as traumatic as it could be. And Sagittarius, this is your love reading for the week of January 14th, 2019. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch. I'll see you next time.